Okay, so it's been like four weeks since I uploaded a video, so I'm finally doing another one. Yay! And today I'm going to be doing my very first haul video. I've never done one before. If I told you every video I've deleted off my channel, there would not be a haul video. There's not one up now. And so, yeah, this is the first one. Yay! And I am doing kind of like a Hawaii Blippo kind of haul thing. Um, Blippo, or Blippo.com, is an online store that I freaking love so far. And they sell kawaii and some non kawaii, or well, kawaii, but not kawaii. I don't know. But they mostly sell Japanese and Korean items, most of which are kawaii. But me personally, I wouldn't really consider Mario and Luigi and Donkey Kong kawaii. But maybe that's just me. So they have tons of cool items. And I recently bought some from them during the GoGo -Go Tokyo sale. And if you use the code kawaii love, you can get 10% off your whole order and free shipping. There is always free shipping to the US though. So, so this is the box. So it's like a small kind of plain white box. It's about the same size as Kawaii Box, I'd say. Kawaii Box is one of their subscription boxes. They also have Japan Candy Box, and I love Kawaii Box. I, I kind of miss it, but I don't feel like subscribing to it. So I'm going to open this box, and I'm going to see what's inside. And I'm going to realize that I don't have my phone nearby. I was going to have my phone nearby because I saw I could pull up the email with what all I ordered in it. So I'm going to open this and then go find my phone. I apologize for the upcoming jump cut. Okay guys, so I'm back and I should have this box open. I have my phone, I have the email open, and yay! Okay, ooh, cuteness, cuteness, cuteness! Cuteness! <laughs> I'm a little excited. Okay, so this first thing, now this, I don't know if it's Japanese or Korean, I'm sorry, but it's a little DIY candy kit. I actually got one in Kawaii Box, but I fucked it up, so I thought I'd get a new one and try. And um, I'll have to do a video on this. So, um, that is, I'm trying to look it up so I know what it's called at least. It is the Crinksy, I'm going to mispronounce this, I'm sure. No, no, bubble jelly DIY candy set. So, that's fine. And then this cute headband, which is wrapped around something else. Hold up. This cute headband. This was in Kawaii Box, but it was in one that I didn't get because I wasn't subscribed yet. <laughs> Hold up, guys. I'm sorry. You probably heard my phone go off a friend texting me. <laughs> no. Um, Actually, I wanted to do this haul video because of her. I was so um, she did a haul video of her on her channel. I call her Lexi. She's one of my best friends. Please go subscribe to her. Please, she deserves the love. So yeah, let me just respond to this, and then I'll get back to it. I apologize. <laughs> okay, so this is a cute headband that I really wanted, but I wasn't subscribed yet, so I had to buy it. You know. It's a glow-in-the-dark crown headband in style number three. It's this pretty pink. Um, okay, since this is my first time recording the messing with this stuff, I do not know how well it glows in the dark. So, I'm just gonna wear it for the video. Be a little princess. <laughs> okay, next thing in my hand is this. Oh, I'm so excited. This is also an Aquai box that I had not subscribed to. This was one after I had canceled, and I'm trying to find it on my list. Go on my list. It is, I think it's the Kawaii Beans Plus Charm. This is like the charm thing. Then open it up and one, two, three. <laughs> Three little things, and they're so cute! Oh, I have three new little friends! Oh. <laughs> they're too cute. I loved that. I mean, I love the fact that they're not, like, sewn together, sewn inside of that. And I just love them. Love them. Love them. 
Oh, too cute, too cute. I'm gonna set them right here beside the computer that I'm recording on. Next up are some hair clips. Um, they are some kawaii fruit ones. Oh yeah, kawaii fruit tapin set, three pieces. As you can see, there are three inside of this cute little package. It's actually like really cute. I actually like it. I have no idea what it says, and I don't want to mess it up, but it's stapled, but I'm going to end up messing it up, I think. It's probably supposed to be open differently, but I'm American, so this shit is weird. I'm kidding. Ah, to open the packaging. I didn't actually want to destroy this packaging, but oh well. It's good. It's good. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And toss that packaging to the side. And this is a nice old style clip, and they are so cute. I mean, the strawberry and the cherries, I'm obsessed with. And it's probably not as cute as the others, but I freaking love this apple too. So, I'm just gonna clip the strawberry into my hair. This is kind of like a review thing, thing too, it's not like just a haul. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have hair clips. I needed some, uh, I know better place to get some kawaii hair clips than from a kawaii online store. Next up is this cute thing, and this was just a little thing that I wasn't planning to get when I first looked at my order. But then I removed something and added something else and had a bit more money left than I expected, so I added this because I thought it would be perfect. Because a few days before I ordered all this, I actually needed this. So this is a kawaii mini bunny pouch. And wait, check the bottom. Always check the bottom. Cool things open at the bottom very easily. And oh, that's a nice material. I like that. And as you can see, it's just so cute. It has some, um, okay, it looks like French down there. And it has some, like, Japanese or Korean near the top and it has some ice cream and a little bunny and it's so cute and as you can see it's just a little pouch and I love it. I love it. Attach that to like my purse or something. I don't know. And then this kawaii um toast coaster which I love. This was also in a kawaii box. Um, not one that I subscribe to. It's I think it's one of the more recent ones, so it's one that I. It's one from after I canceled my subscription. It's so cute. They do not have the original style that I wanted in stock, but this one's still so cute. And I can't wait to use it. And next up is another little plushie because I love plushies. <laughs> This is a Pastel Bear Plus Charm. I think it was in one of the recent Kawaii boxes. I could be wrong. Let's see, he's so cute. I'm gonna name him Watercolor, because that's what I'm thinking of. Being so cute and soft and fluffy and stuffy. <laughs> and as you can see, he's, he is a charm, but the thing that I've done with all the charms I ever received in kawaii box is actually remove the little st charm thing and just have them as a plushie and i'm running out of space to set this stuff so i'm going to move my sandwich and put him over with the pins and set my sandwich over there yeah. next up is a squishy donut charm mirror uh i saw this on the list yep squishy donut mirror charm in the color pink i guess I guess they had different styles, or like different colors, and because I love pink, I had to go with pink. So, how does this open? Oh, it opens right here, I guess. Cool. Yep. And I actually saw a DIY kind of of this, except it was plush, not squishy. And, okay, this is so cute. Okay, so here is the donut thing, here's the charm, here's the mirror. Here you go, see the computer screen. Oh, so that is really cute. The sprinkles are kind of going everywhere, but it's still awesome as fuck. Um, I'm pretty sure this is also in a kawaii box. As you can see, I bought a lot of items that were once in kawaii box, but that's because I look through the kawaii box pictures on Instagram, and I'm like, I want that. So when buying, I had to get some, you know. And this I'm kind of excited for. 
It's the Crazy Poppin' Cookin' Ramen DIY Candy Set. I will also be doing a video on this, but as you can see, it's cute. Cute is cute. But it's a popping cookie, and I've been wanting to try a popping cookie. It has some, I think it's Japanese, could be Korean, but there's some instructions on the back and stuff. But if the, I will use the pictures, so look it up online. Ugh, the magic of the internet. The next thing is the, I'm going to mispronounce this again, Bungia Milky Candy Box. It's some candy. I've tried it. Not this specific candy, but some other candy before. But, um, I don't know exactly what this candy is. Like, I do what I don't. It might be chocolate, so I can't eat it right now. If it's chocolate, I can't eat it right now, so. I'll just save that for some other time. I don't remember if it's chocolate or not, so. <laughs> Next thing is, oh, wow, okay. So they actually put multiple items I ordered into a bag together because apparently they don't have like separate packaging. I don't know. So I'm going to open this up. Attempt to. I never thought it would be this difficult to open one of these bags. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out is my Harajuku bag charm and this is cute as fuck. It's just this little um purple charm thing that kind of like a binder ring it's like it is like a binder ring it has like this little bracelet like thing and the little rubber rainbow which is cute and a little pink bell oh okay here you go there's like a clip right there and then like this pastel plastic chain thing can yeah see that is so cute i love that love that this is also in a karate box <laughs> I told you a lot of this stuff is in a kawaii box. The hair clips, I don't know if they were or not. So, I don't know if I said that or not. Another item that was in kawaii box is this cute pull ring kind of bracelet with these seashell charms. And I got mine in the color of pink. They did have a few options. But like I said, I love everything in pink. It's gotta be pink. It doesn't have to be pink. And then finally, a couple large panda hair clips. I think they are so cute. I love pandas. Turtles are my favorite. Penguins are my second favorite. Pandas are my third favorite. Giraffes are probably my fifth favorite. I love my all animals, to be honest. Um, cats are something up there, too. The next thing is this little pole bracelet. This was in Kawaii Box as well. I remember, uh, I think it was the one right after I canceled my subscription, so I was kind of upset because I really liked this bracelet. But I finally got it, and it's so cute. Because, I mean, just look at this. It's so cute. I have one very similar to it, but it's cubes instead of spheres. And I actually lost mine. Hmm. It's somewhere. Okay, so my hair clips, same brand as the fruit ones, it seems like. And they are some little bones. They do a little bit better. And they're really cute. Oh, that was a lot easier to. Oh, God. Okay, no, okay. I was scared that this table had fallen out. But no, it didn't. Good, we're good. And you just get three random styles of them. So, I'm just going to take one and clip it into my hair because that is life right now. So many hair clips. I really like the Harajuku whole, like the whole Harajuku style kind of thing though, so. Oh god. Ah, some socks! I need socks. Yes, I bought some socks. I had to. These were in a karate box as well. I told you a lot of this stuff was in karate box. And karate box is like 17, no. Eighteen ninety a month, like eighteen U.S. dollars ninety cents a month, and it's really good. You get ten to twelve kawaii, Japanese, and Korean items. And every time I got a box, there was at least one plushie and one piece of candy, and it's so cool. But I got things cute, pink and yellow and white polka dot socks. They are so cute, and I'm sure they are definitely going to fit me. 
but I can't wait to wear them. Next up is this adorable pin. I love pins. Mm, I don't think this one was in Kawaii Box. This is what it looks like. It's white with this pink and gold crown up here. But um, it says dreams come true because they do. Oh, it has like polka dots too, kind of like pink and silver or oh, diamonds. Yeah, I'm being an idiot, I know. <laughs> but it's so cute. There was a pen or pencil similar to this in Kawaii Box, but I chose this one. And it looks, oh, it writes well too. I'm going to write on my hand. I'm sorry. Let's test it out on my hand real quick. There you go. <laughs> it writes really well, apparently, and I love that. Um, I love these pins. They th they seem to be thinner, or like a bit thinner than the pins I normally buy around here, and that's just kind of what I love about them. Then there's another pin, which just was in Kawaii Box. I actually got this Kawaii Box, but my pin broke. And so I got this one brand new. It's so cute. I love it. It writes in red, and it's a really good pin, guys. And like I said, it see, definitely seems to be thinner than most of the pins I'd get around here. So, pins. I love pins. I didn't put the gap on all the way. Oops. Okay, next thing. Almost to the end of this. Is this Kawaii 2016 desk calendar. This is in the December box of 2015, which it was received in June. No. Yeah, it was received in January. I did not get this box, but I thought it was adorable and I wanted it so badly. So I got it. And I will open it for you guys. So I got it open. And it smells so good. It smells like a new kid's book. No joke. At least that's what it smells like to me. Okay. So, of Kinks, I don't need all, like, I'll just go ahead and flip to April of Kinks, but here's what January looks like real quick, and then I will set it to April real quick. So that is the month we are currently in. I got it a little late into the year, but it's cool as well. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. Oh, the, oh I have no idea what all it says. Is it, like, the numbers or something? I don't know, but there's like Korean and Japanese writing on each date, and that is so cool in my opinion. No joke. I love that. That is so cute. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, last thing in the box, guys. This is a Korean pin set. Ooh. Oh, secret pin set. This was in Kawaii Box. I never... I didn't get this Kawaii box, but I thought it looked pretty cool, so I wanted to see what was up. So this is what it looks like. And, oh, that was very easy to open. I didn't have to deal with, like, glue or tape or anything. That is, oh, love this packaging. So much easier to open. Okay, so things are taped in, but that's cool. They're small, so they'd be easy to fall out. And they look like little messages, like, not messages, like little pieces of paper rolled up with a jump ring kind of thing over them. This is the pin. And it has this light twin here. It's like a UV light thing probably. And it's like a marker kind of pin actually right here. So I'm going to test it out on here real quick. I always test this stuff out on my hand first. I honestly do. And that's ah. Uh -huh. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's totally showing up for me. I wrote on my hand and it's showing up and I'm excited. So, yeah. I don't know what I'll do with things, maybe send them to pen pals or something, but there is a few little things right there. And then, oh, oh. trying to do all this. Okay. That's, okay. And then there is this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. KawaiiDistribution.com. It's another website of this, kind of. Um, I think this is kind of more like the Kawaii Box-like thing. I don't know. But, yeah. Here you go. 
there's like a little Kawhi distribution. I'll put a link to that in the description, a link to Blippo in the description. I love them. And then this is just a little advertisement thing for Kawhi Box. Um, yeah. 12, 10 to 12 handpicked Kawhi items delivered to your doorstep. And it says starting from $17.30 a month. Okay, so that's like the six month plan, I think. I could be wrong. But, um, and then a little advertisement thing for Japan Candy Box. Receive a box full of cookie Japanese drinks and snacks delivered to your doorstep every month. Free shipping worldwide for both boxes, actually, I think. And it's only $19.19 a month. So if you have that money, I'd definitely suggest checking this out. Show your purchases and win a shopping spree. Simply tag your post. Hashtag Blippo. Every month, a lucky winner will receive a Blippo gift voucher. And with Kawaii Box, I don't know if they do it anymore, but they used to. You could post your Kawaii Box, and every month, they'd select a winner, like, randomly, and you'd end up with, like, the mega Kawaii Box. So, yeah. So that was that for my little box, and I'm super happy with it. I love it. I love all the items I got, and I will go through and make sure I got everything I ordered. I'm, I trust that I did. So, Frigia Milky Candy Box, which I'll show y'all if y'all want to, like, go buy this stuff, because I won't put links directly to these products. I'm sorry. That would be a lot of links. So this is the Fungia Milky Candy Box, and I will maybe try that in a later video. I'm seriously not sure if it's chocolate or not, guys. I can't eat chocolate right now. I'm doing a challenge. I don't eat chocolate for a whole month, and so I can't eat chocolate for a while. Actually, I don't have that much longer to go. Just a couple weeks. Um, okay, it doesn't look chocolate. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to just, like, go to the website and find out. It doesn't look chocolate. I do know that they do make chocolate products, so gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I can't fail this challenge now. Um, Google. Why am I going to Google? I literally have a little bookmark thing for blipo.com on my home screen, and I went to Google. Okay, oh, the GoGo -Go Tokyo sale is still going on, but it, I'm sure it'll be over soon, because I got an email not, I, I want to say probably at least a week ago, saying only two more weeks of the sale, so I'd definitely go check that out now, if I was you. So, Fringy uh, Milky Candy Oaks. I'm probably sounding so stupid right now, I'm sorry. And it is on sale. Oh, does that? that have something to do with it? It looks like... Oh, I'm so confused. It's on sale for $2.24, so... Um, well, no, okay, it does not seem to have chocolate. I'm so scared it does. I can't read Japanese or Korean, and it sucks. I want to know how to speak and read Japanese and Korean, but I haven't gotten that far yet, so let's hope this is Japanese. That's what I have my Google Translate set to right now. Oh, fuck. And take a picture, scan. Worked. Okay, I don't know. Is it worth? Taking the chance. Oh god. Okay. Um, there's different wrappers. Okay, this is now really scary. Okay, so there's like two different wrappers for each one. What the hell? Um oh no, there's this one that has this like reddish wrapper looking thing pattern, and this one with a yellow one. Oh. <laughs> this video has gotten kind of weird. I want the candy. Has no scent. I don't think it's chocolate. So. Let's see it. Ow! Ow! Fuck! Ow! Can't do that. Ow! 
Not chocolate, I can tell you that. Okay. Really so it's not chocolate. Um, I had a knife. I need to try to cut this in half. Okay, it has like a really hard center, like what the fuck? It's like a crunchy center. Like it's not crunchy what I bite once I like completely bite into it, but it's kind of crunchy, so it's good. But it's good. Wow. I like it. I said it was good. Ow. Fuck. What the fuck am I biting into? And this basically has like no English on it whatsoever. No. Hmm. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> so, anyway, back to reviewing what all was in my box. I just opened the long gap. I had to go to email and I went to Periscope. Mm, okay. Mm. It's kind of, it's like better, but similar to like a vanilla Tootsie Roll or something, but better. All right, so next thing was Crazy Poppin' Cooking Ramen DIY candy set. Mm, fuck. Mm? I still have that candy in my mouth and it's annoying me. Mm? Mm. Anyway, which I definitely got that because I'm super excited to try that. And do keep an eye out for that video because I will totally do a video on it. And then I have the Harajuku Bag Charm, the Kawaii Food and Tear Pin Set, the Kawaii 2016 Desk Calendar, the Kawaii Beans Plus Charm. One of the first things I got out of the box, and I just knocked stuff all out over the floor. Um, the Pastel Pull Crown Ball Pin, that's what that, one, that first pin was called. And I got it in style one, so there's different styles of it. And pastel style bracelet in pink. I told you that. Um, squishy donut mirror charm in pink. I'm obsessed with the color pink. Um, cry red and toast coaster style one. I think it was style two that I wanted, but they didn't have in stock, so I love it though. Stipend dot ribbon hair clip, which is this one. Crinksy No No Bubble Jelly DIY Candy Kit, which I'm excited for. Um, <laughs> Ribbon Polka Dot Socks. I got the light pink option. There's also a white and a hot pink, I think. But I chose light pink. I was going to get white at first, but then I changed my mind. The Glow in the Dark Crown Headband in Style 3. They have tons of styles, guys. They have like some green and blue and pink and purple, I think, and maybe a couple other colors. And some um, panda hair pins. I got the pack of two. Where is it? I'm sorry, everything's backwards to me in the camera. So, but the Korean, which I got the pack of two, they are the big ones because they also have some small ones. Then I got the Korean secret pin set. I got it in color pink, but there is also a blue and a yellow, I think, but I don't think, there's not anything like super different, just, you know, the, my pin is pink, but that's literally like the only difference. It has a cute little face on it, I didn't realize that. What's that little face right there? I love that. So, what was the next on the list? Colorful Animal Friends Ink Pin Style 1. 
That was this pin of mine which I will use so much because I love it. Um, the pastel bear plus charm. One of the first things I, aka what watercolor. I love you watercolor. Mm -hmm. Um, the cry mini buddy pouch, and that was that. And it was. I think I got a good deal on this stuff. Honestly, I only played, paid like thirty dollars for all this, so I'm very happy with my order. Like I said, this was from Blippo.com is where I got this. The Toki the Go Go Tokyo sale is still going on. I do not know how much longer it will be going on. So when you watch this video, it may not be going on anymore. So yeah, and use code Kawaii Love to get 10% off and free shipping if you're not in the US. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed all the super cute little products I bought. And yeah. Also, please don't forget to go check out and subscribe to my friend Lexi. I love her, and she deserves the love, so go show her some love. Ow, ow, ow. Hit my knee on this dresser. I have the camera slash computer set on top of the dr a dresser, and I just kicked it by accident. Ow. I tried. I tried to do an outro. This is not edited. I'm editing two parts of a video together. And then adding an outro picture thing, maybe. But other than that, that's that. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below which one of these products was your favorite. Um, if you enjoy this style of uh, video and what videos you'd like me like to see me do next. Um, please click the subscribe button. Become a freaky fab zillion. Um, so yeah, that, I think that's it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Love you guys.